Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and today we are doing Getting to Know You episode 60. Plus I have a happy mail that I can't wait to open and I will be announcing last week's subscriber of the week winner. I'll see you in a sec. So welcome back everyone. As I said, this is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and today we're doing Getting to Know You episode 60. Plus I have a happy mail I want to open and um, of course announce last week's subscriber of the week winner. So I'm hoping I'm going to remember to go in order of things because I wrote them down like I normally would but I'm going to I need to do them a little bit differently. So here's hoping. <laughs> um, anyway so uh first we're gonna just go ahead and get started with like the questions and the and any tips or um tricks or suggestions comments that type of thing and then we'll go on from there um so first uh as far as a question um tammy excuse me when i had um talked about those two uh, local fiber art shops that I have not been able to get a hold of or anything. Um, Tammy had asked if I checked their website for the dates and times that they're open. And I did respond to her comment, um, letting her know that yes, I have done that. However, recently, as well as in the last year, I have run into situations where I have checked their times on their websites and or when I've searched and it comes up like on a Google search and it said it was open and then I'd get there and they were closed or vice versa. It said it was closed, but then when I got there, it was open. So that's why I've been trying to desperately reach them by phone. And it's very frustrating that they're not, A, not answering the phone and B, not, um, you know, returning voicemails. So I know the one in St. Pete is at least open on some Saturdays. I don't know if it's every Saturday. I don't know. I mean, it didn't look like it was by appointment only, but I still, it's just, I like to be able to plan and also find out from these stores if they're okay with my coming in and recording prior to actually getting there because especially since these aren't yarn shops they're needlepoint shops and I don't needlepoint as a general rule so you know if it was a yarn shop no problem I, I'd go there and I'd spend all day there <laughs> but um even if they said I couldn't record but you know like the um if I, or the needlepoint shop that's like a couple miles from my house I'm glad I reached them, even though it's only a couple miles from my house, it wouldn't have been a big deal. Um, they said they were busy with other stuff, so asked me if I could wait a few weeks and, and whatever. So, it is what it is. Uh, but anyway, yes, I did want to let you know, just in case you didn't see that I responded to your comment, that yes, I have checked and um, they show that they're supposed to be open, um, but I still can't get through. Okay, so on to everything else. Um, First, I want to say thank you for all the compliments on my earrings on, I think I wore the same pair in two. Maybe it was also, maybe it was um, on my Monday makes and on the small business. I can't remember, but I got several compliments on earrings. So thank you so incredibly much. Um, and then did I answer this on my, um, oh, <laughs> I'll go ahead and do this now because I'm thinking about it that right there behind me i've had so many of you ask what the heck is that thing that's back there we can't see the top of it we don't know what it is it's actually um a silver metal vase that's like really tall it's still probably about three four inches taller than that um and so i just wanted to let you, i did respond to several of you and let you know what it is but just in case other people were wondering and just didn't think to ask it's a vase <laughs> um okay so then also I mentioned this in, I think my Christmas in July fairies semi-finalist winter video, but I did have, I think one or two people, um, like want to confirm it. So I figured I'd go ahead and share it with you guys on here. Um, since this is kind of my, you know, um, podcast when people are talking about being active on someone's channel like if you are watching my channel you've subscribed you decided you wanted to subscribe to my channel so in order for you to remain active what does that mean watching videos just watching videos and not doing anything else isn't going to keep you active um in order to stay active which the reason why oh and i <laughs> i actually forgot to do it but um i'll do that in a second and please forgive 
being out of order. But um, the reason why I always ask, you know, if you're new and you'd like, go ahead, subscribe and like, comment, share, all that kind of stuff is because there are a lot of people out there that watch YouTube that don't realize that these things, first of all, subscribing is how you'll get notifications and that doing these other things actually help not only you get notifications, but also the, it helps the creator. They don't realize that. And they're not going to, they may not watch every single one of my videos to happen to fall on one that I say. And so that's why a lot of, the, a lot of um, channels that are there to help help small YouTubers grow and know, you know, just give tips and stuff like that. We'll always say, just make sure you just mention it throughout the video. And because some people don't realize it, I mean, there's like 400,000 hours of videos being posted to YouTube. I think it's like every hour. That's a lot of content. I mean, that's a, that's a ton of content. And so there, and there are a lot of people that are finding YouTube or have never been on it and decided that, ah, you know what, I'll go ahead and do it. I know that sounds crazy to us because we've all been around, but it is the case. So in order to be active on someone's channel, um, is you need to, at the very least, like the videos. So watching it is fine, but the way, and plus it helps YouTube figure out what it is that you actually like so that they actually start recommending videos that you seem to enjoy and interact with versus like sending you stuff that you're like, what the, I've never watched this in my life. Okay, that doesn't happen often, but it can if you're not letting YouTube know what it is that you like to watch. And simply watching videos isn't necessarily, it will a little, but um, liking the videos is a big thing and or commenting and or sharing. Sharing is like the biggest thing because that's saying, okay, YouTube, I like this so much. I want to have other people watch this. So you need to pay attention type of a thing. Does that make sense? But at the very least, liking the videos will definitely keep you active. Now, YouTube kind of does its thing sometimes, its own thing sometimes, but that's what is typically considered being active. So I just wanted to go over that. I'm not going to keep repeating that, I, but I, because I had a couple more people ask me since I mentioned it, I figured I'd share that again. Um, oh yeah. And I, in, in one of a couple, or maybe like two videos, I mentioned that we were having kind of sort of issues in the fairy world with the Christmas and July fairies where we were losing subscribers and comments. And, you know, we weren't sure. And we were asking you guys just to double check your comment, make sure it's still there. Well, we, I also mentioned how it seems like because so many people, there were so many videos to watch, so many people were copying and pasting their comments so that they can, you know, quickly go watch the videos and comment to everybody. And fairies were responding with copying and pasting because they would have hundreds of comments all of a sudden. And that was the YouTube at YouTube can view copying, pasting as spam or maybe a bot or, you know, trolls doing stuff. And so they consider it spam. But somebody mentioned to me, and I appreciate this, that she has a couple of conditions that prevent her from being able to sit there and either on her device, do it with her thumbs or fingers, or even on a keyboard. She's got a couple of conditions that prevent her from being able to do that, especially going across 80, 100, whatever videos. So she said that when she was asking her, I, when, either when she was asking around or somebody happened to mention when she mentioned that she had these conditions, that as long as you like maybe include an emoji, but you wanna try to not do like a million emojis, but do an emoji or type in one or two words, that at least breaks it up and show, it, it, they can tell that it's not just a copy and paste job. So I wanted to mention that I don't know if that's the case. I was not able to confirm that with anybody, but it does make sense, at least in my head. And I'm, you know where my head is sometimes. So, but I did want to mention that to you guys. If that is a concern of yours, not really being able to type a lot, that if you at least do a couple of words, it could help not be picked up as a spam thing because it's not completely copy and pasted. So I hope that helps. And I hope it's the, I, I hope that's actually what, I, I hope that actually is the case. Um, I'm going to get back to that in one second. I'm going to get back to that. Oh, um, with my stitch marker tree, I've had so many of you compliment it or ask what it is or say, oh my gosh, I love it. Where did you get it? 
Um, I always have the link in the description box of every video. It's from Fat Cat Beads. I think in parentheses I say Stitch Marker Tree because why would you know that's the, <laughs> that's the link? But I can't, I, I can't remember for sure. But it's Fat Cat Beads. I always have a link in the description box below. There's a 20% off coupon on anything in her shop. But I'm going to go ahead and put the um, video in the cards above as well as in the description box in the top pinned comments of where I featured her uh, uh featured it so that you can get i can either, you'll see more information if you want to and you, you'll know all of that kind of stuff so it will be have been in the cards a few seconds ago as well as down below um if you're if you're interested because i know several people said you're interested i know several many people have ordered one two whatever i mean they're it's really a great deal and it's gorgeous it's copper it's awesome and it's handmade it's it's really incredible um, oh, and then when I did the Ditastic Yarn of the Month on my um, are my Runners Up and Fairy Winner video, um, I mentioned that the stitch marker inside of it, I thought it was a starfish. Well, thank you so much, Heidi. She is a um, science teacher. Thank you so much for letting me know it's not actually a starfish. It is a sea star. I didn't know that, and I, I like learning new things. Um, uh, hold on one second because my mom just messaged me and I need to check. That's why I don't turn off like notifications and stuff because sometimes she needs me. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, guys. I'm very parched right now. My throat is very dry. Anyway, so thank you, Heidi, for that. I do appreciate that. I like learning new things and I actually love science um, and math, <laughs> but um, I do appreciate that and I just wanted to let everybody know that it is actually a sea star so that's that was really cool for me anyway I don't know if any of you guys care but <laughs> um all right so I did that 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 okay so next I wanted to go ahead and explain um clarify what subscriber of the week is as far as when you are entering it I absolutely love how much so many of you are interacting and letting me know what changed on the skate behind me. But instead of spinning your wheels and letting me know in each video, which is not, I, I, I don't want to waste your time. That's not what this was about. Why I created Subscriber of the Week and my Future Surprise Giveaways because I, want, I wanted a way to thank as many people, as many of you guys as I can, that I know are actually being active on my channel, taking part and interested in wanting to be here and paying attention to stuff. Um, so that's how I came up. With, that was the reason why I came up with these things because I told you guys a million times, if I could, I would send you all something because you all are amazing. But I can't, unfortunately. Um, but what, what Subscriber of the Week is, is that one of the days, now I, I post my videos three times a week. It, oh, it used to always be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Getting to know you is Friday, was used to be regularly Friday. My schedule has gotten kind of crazy recently. So now it, it kind of pops up rarely on Friday, sometimes Saturday, but typically on Sunday. So out of the three videos that I post, it doesn't include my live because my live is in my bedroom, but out of the three videos that I post, one of those days, something on my scape will change. So like today, and I'm just gonna say, it happens to be the same as my um, uh, Monday Makes video, which I think went up on Tuesday, but sorry. Um, so in this case, if you were paying attention, then on my Wednesday small business video, is the day that something changed so in getting to know you video you only need to let me know one time in the week what changed because i don't want you to have to do that because that, that's a lot of work and that's a lot of typing that you have to do and i don't want to waste your time that's absolutely not what my intention was at all so on this video on getting to know you is when you would let me know on what day what changed two of the days will be the same one day will change something will change and then on getting to know you on this video, which is the video you're going to enter for this week, is let me know what day what changed. So like today could have been the same. Well, it was the same as Monday and then Wednesday something changed. So now all you have to do is let me know what changed on um, Wednesday. But 
Um, I, but you need to do it in this video because this is the video that I do the comment that, that I search the comments of is on the getting to know you. It's not on every video. So I'm getting to know you. Let me know what day, what changed. It could be that Monday and Wednesday were the same and getting to know you was different. So you wouldn't know until we got to getting to know you. Or it could be that Monday and Friday are the same or Monday and getting to know you are the same and Wednesday is what changed. Or it could be that Wednesday and getting to know you stayed the same and Monday was the one that changed. So that's all you need to do is in getting to know you, let me know, okay, on Wednesday, such and such changed. Okay, I gave it away that it's Wednesday, but I'm not going to tell you what it was that changed. So that's, I hope I clarified that because I really don't want to waste your time and having you tell me every day what you I want to make sure you guys always enter on the getting to know you video, which is today's video. So today you'll let me know that Wednesday changed and then now you guys will have to pay attention to what actually changed and let me know what it was. Uh, typically it's fairly obvious when it comes to like the holidays, like October I do Halloween stuff, um, November I do fall stuff, and then of course Christmas I do Christmassy stuff. Um, that can get a little bit more intricate because I have a lot more stuff going on, but for the most part, everything, all the other months, it's it's pretty obvious. Or I try to make it pretty obvious. So anyway, I hope that helps. And I hope that lessens what you feel you have to do. Because I would hate for you guys to get tired out of doing this and not have fun with it anymore. Because I really want a way to be able to say thank you to, to those that are actually doing it and wanting to be part of it. And well... Be wanting to be part of my channel and actually watching and taking your time because I know how much time it takes to watch videos. I know. So I want to say thank you to those of you that are actually doing it. So thank you in advance. And I'm sorry, again, I go over and over and over again. Just forgive me, please. <laughs> um, that being said, when I do ever do some kind of a drawing, like for a subscriber of the week, which I will be announcing last week's today. And today is when you guys are going to be entering for this week. When I announce the subscriber of the week winner or the future surprise giveaway, or if it's a milestone giveaway or some sort of a surprise birthday giveaway or whatever it is I come up with, if you wouldn't mind, I would really appreciate it when, because I know we all want to congratulate whoever it is that won, especially if we know them. I get that because I want to do it myself. But I always try to only say congratulations to the winner or congrats winner or whatever. But I don't actually mention their name because for me, I I like the idea of the element of surprise. And some people, while they're watching a video, will go through the comments and be reading. Not I'm not saying they're looking for their name. I'm just saying that I know I'll skim through comments every so often to see, you know, to see who's commenting and who's saying what or whatever. Because I like to get to know people. Um, and if the name is always listed, then it's the element of surprise is gone and they see it. And I like, I know I like being surprised. And if I'm watching something and I hear my name or I see my name, which doesn't happen often, but, um, I like to get excited with that. So if you guys wouldn't mind, I'd appreciate it. I mean, it's not a big deal if you forget or you do it. That's fine. I get it. Uh, but I figured I'd ask and see where that went because <laughs> I've also heard that when I've watched other giveaway videos of other channel creators asking if you can please just not mention the name and that's kind of where I got that from I can't remember who it was otherwise I'd, I'd mention them specifically but I, I honestly can't remember uh so that is subscriber of the week and that um okay so then next I totally 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 forgot Yarn Love, I told you guys when I when I um, when I featured her on Wednesday, I believe it was, I have an affiliate link. Yes, that is in the description box below. I make a I make like five percent if you make a purchase. I also have a coupon code for you guys for I think it's ten percent off, um, and it includes everything except I think like special orders kits and yarn of the month or something like that. Um, but otherwise you get the you you can use the coupon code on anything else and i make a com a small commission off of whatever the purchase is less the discount but what i forgot and i'm so grateful to the couple of you that reminded me or said hey wait i just saw this when you if you follow my affiliate link and you go to her website 
there's going to be a notification or a pop-up or something saying um sign up for my newsletter and get $15 off coupon for your next per your first purchase what $15 off and I don't think there's a minimum purchase don't quote me on that I forgot to check but um I don't think there's a minimum purchase but $15 off your first order that's incredible so if you do decide to sign up for her newsletter you'll get an email with that now she always has the link to her website in her email I I I hate asking this way because I feel like it's like okay please go through this because I make money yeah I would be lying if I said I really don't care if I ever make a penny from anybody that shops on anything that I, I share with you I'd be lying I mean that would that why else you know my purpose of with these shops and getting you coupons is because I want you guys to be able to save a little bit because I know what it's like to want to shop with a small business or you know get something a little bit different but not really being able to and, and a coupon can sometimes offset the shipping or the tax or the whatever the case is and can make it just feasible enough to be able to try something sometime. That's why I try to get coupon codes as often as possible and most small businesses don't have affiliate links. I was surprised and excited when she said she did and she automatically signed me up to it. So if you happen to remember when you do get the coupon, if you would, wouldn't mind coming back because it's in the description box of every video, um, and going through my link, that's awesome. If you forget, don't worry about it. I'm not, I'm not that concerned about it. Go through the link in the email. But remember, you can get a $15 off coupon. That being said, depending on how much you're planning on spending, I want you to get the best bang for your buck. If you're planning on spending $150 or less, then the $15 off coupon is going to definitely be hands down the best deal. But if you're planning on spending over $150, my 10% off coupon is going to be a better deal because let's say you spend $160, my coupon is going to give you $16 off or $170, you are going to get $17 off. So just remember based on how much you're spending, I want you guys to get the best bang for your buck. And she also reminded me, remind them which way is going to get them the best deal. And I'm like, absolutely no problem because that's what I'm about. I want you to get the best deal. Now, remember, she also has free shipping on orders of $60 or more in the United States. So if you're wanting to get free shipping, but yet take advantage of the coupon, if you're using my 10% off coupon, you're going to need to spend at least $67 because with after that, after the coupon, you're going to be at $60 and 30 cents, I believe is what it is. So you need to be at $60 after any coupon so just remember to keep that in mind and but i love that because if i'm if i'm spending 55 dollars, but yet i'm spending i don't know what her shipping is off the top of my head but let's say it's five bucks or six bucks so now i'm going to be spending 61 dollars. in my head i'm like wait a minute i'm going to be spending 61 dollars, and if i only spend another you know a few bucks i can get something extra and free shipping i mean to me that that Maybe that's not the smartest thing because oftentimes you have to spend more than the five or six dollars to get the, you know what I mean? But with the coupon code and everything else, to, for me, it, I think it, you know, it ends up being a good deal. Like if I was spending $50, $50 let's say, and I got a hank of yarn for $25, we're at $75. But now I'm also going to save $15 if you get the $15 off coupon. So you're going to be back at $60, but you got an extra hank and you're not spending shipping money. Does that make sense? I don't know. Maybe it's just my crazy brain that thinks that way but it does think that way just saying <laughs> um anyway but i wanted to make sure that i told you about that 15 dollars off coupon because it's a great deal and yeah for sure I, if you happen to remember to go back to my affiliate link or you copy and paste it somewhere if you know you're going to be you know going back to it that would be great i i would appreciate it. i mean five percent is five percent that's you know that's um, five bucks on a hundred dollar order, you know, any, any, any amount. I mean, I told you guys when I got excited that I saw somebody place an order and I made a 92 cent commission on Amazon. I was so excited about that. <laughs> I mean, it's, that's a stamp and a half that I don't have to buy. You know what I mean? I mean, it, I really seriously appreciate anything that I get when you guys go through my links very seriously. That was through Amazon, my Amazon affiliate links, which are always in the description box as well. Sometimes it's a little bit shorter depending on how many characters I need to delete in order to give you guys new links to and coupons. <laughs> but the, the, the links are always in the description box. Um, if you don't know how Amazon links work, let me know and I'll, I'll go ahead and cover that with you guys. But I think for the most part, I've gone over that with you. 
It doesn't matter. I mean, if you click on that link, you don't have to buy what's in that link. Anything you purchase within 24 hours of clicking that link, I would make a small percentage on. Some of it's like 1%, 2%. 3% I because th they cut their percentages quite a bit a while ago um, I think you know 5% is for them is like the highest and that's only on certain things I think some things you may get a little bit more but it's not like you know but like I said I got excited over 92 cents just saying I mean a stamp and a half as many stamps as I go through thank you so much you have no idea all right so next all right, we're done with everything um, as far as getting to know you outside of the tick marks. I'll still go over the tick marks. But I'm going to go ahead and open Happy Mail because I want to tell you something about the Happy Mail. So the Happy Mail is from Little Vicious Stitches in Germany. You all know I love her stuff. She has amazing, she does amazing work. You guys know how obsessed I am with Madeline Tosh, right? I told Catherine, the owner of Little Vicious Stitches or LBS, I told her that even though, yes, some colorways aren't really my thing, they are amazingly beautiful because she has great fiber bases. She, the way she dyes, the colors that she uses, the, the, the variegated ways she comes up with stuff, the saturation, the, the, just everything is amazing. That to me, I appreciate and love anything I see Madeline Tosh come up with. I may not love, it may not be my colorway. I wouldn't buy it, but I love it because I can appreciate it. She is right there with it. I have another dyer that I feel that way about as well, but LBS, she is right there in my mind with Madeline Tosh as much as I'm obsessed with that one. So she just does amazing work. She is in Germany, so there is an exchange and shipping and all that stuff, but her shipping is so ridiculously reasonable, it's not funny. I mean, I'm being dead serious. Cause shipping can be insane when you shop overseas. I mean, 15, 20, 25, I've seen it up to $31, depending on what country. And I'm talking like Ireland and the UK and Germany and Belgium and all kinds, whatever. I mean, it can be crazy. Hers is so reasonable, it's not funny. And the prices for her yarn and stuff is really reasonable as well. Now, what I'm going to be showing you is a sock set, a, a yarn, like a sock set of the month. Okay. It's absolutely, it comes with, I think, five 20 gram um, mini hanks. And did I say it's a mini sock set? Sorry. It's a mini sock set of the month. It comes with five 20 gram mini hanks and one 50 gram, um, um, mohair, uh, Hank. Plus I think she puts in some kind of other goodies and stuff like little things. All right. So I, okay. Because if you go into my description box and, or you remember what I've told you, yes, I have a coupon code to her. She increased it from 10% to 15% for us. I do have a coupon code for her. I'm going to ask you if you decide to purchase this sock set of the month, many, many, hold on a second. Yeah, it's a sock set of the month, right? Oh my gosh, now I'm drawing a blanket. And I feel like I'm saying it wrong. But anyway, um, it's a mini skein set of the month is what I think it is. Please forgive me. I will correct myself when I open the box. So you may have to forget what, what I called it before. But anyway, um, what was I saying though about, it? oh, the coupon code. If you wouldn't mind not using the coupon code for this set, I would appreciate it. I can't stop you and I'm not going to lie to you and tell you it doesn't work on it. Um, it's just that when you hear the prices of this, you are going to see what I'm talking about and she would literally be losing money. I mean, I don't know how she's not losing money as it is, but I would just appreciate it. I can't stop you. She can't. I mean, I guess she could stop you. She could turn it off. But I'm going to ask you on this particular set, if you wouldn't mind not doing it, I would appreciate it. Um, but this sock set, she does it by one month, three month or six month sets. Okay. You pay for it once and you pay shipping one time. If you do the six month, you pay for shipping one time. And when you hear what I tell you the shipping is, how she isn't losing money just on shipping it six times is beyond me. But for the one month set, it's 45 euros, which as of, oh my gosh, I just bit my mouth or my lip. Oh, that hurt. 
as of today's exchange, 45 euros is $53.14 for a one month sock set or mini skein set. For a three month subscription, it's only 70 euros, which is in today's exchange, $82.67. So it went from 45 to 70. She didn't even double it. And you're getting three months worth. What? That's insane. Or is that just me? I, I, wait until you hear the six month. If you do a six month mini skein set, it's only a hundred euros, which in today's exchange is $118.10. 45 euros for one month or a hundred euros for six months. What? I mean, what? Just for two months, it would be $90 if you doubled it. Like if you fell in love with it and you decided to do it for a second month, you're going to be paying 90 euros. You might as well get three months worth of it for 70 euros, right? I mean, it's just crazy. This, I mean, maybe I'm missing something and I'm, I'm thinking it's insane and it really isn't and I'm like completely like lost my marbles. And, and Catherine, if you want to correct me, but I, I know I was just on your site. Um, let me know in the description box. I mean, in the comment section below, if I'm like to totally lost my marbles, but, um, her shipping to the United States is only seven euros, which in today's exchange is $8 and 27 cents. What? What? I mean, seriously. And if you get a six month set, a six month subscription, you're paying only a hundred euros and eight dollars and twenty now the exchange can change but as of today if you did it today it would be it'd be a hundred and twenty six dollars and thirty seven cents for six months and you're only paying shipping one time i don't know how she's not losing money on this i mean she's absolutely incredible and her work is amazing i mean i won her when i featured her it was because i won her summer set OMG. I mean, very seriously, just amazing stuff. So let's go ahead and open this. I wasted all of your time. I'm so sorry. I'm going to try to do this quickly so that I'm not like completely boring you or irritating you or whatever the case is. But I had to share that with you. That's why I'm asking if you do decide to do um, this subscription, if you wouldn't mind not using the coupon code because <laughs> this is an incredible incredible deal i mean incredible deal oops i forgot there's tape back here Catherine, you know i think you're you are amazingly talented and have incredible work i mean incredible yarn incredible colorways everything i sing your kudos all the time Ooh! <laughs> this is so electric blue it looks just royal blue in here but here, oh, this is like the most, I would love the walls in my room to be like this. If, you, if you're ever on my lives, you'll see the walls in my room, my bedroom. This is, I would love this. This would be awesome. This is so amazingly beautiful. And look, uh, her thank you sticker. Handmade with love. It really is, especially for you. I'm telling you, she puts a lot of love into her work. And right now... She's dealing with all of that torrential rain in Germany. Her her backyard flooded, her basement flooded. I mean, they had no power. I don't know where she is at, at what point it is now, but for a while they didn't have power, cell service, anything. And and I this still came out in the mail. What? Oh! <laughs> I want to tear into this. Okay. Oh my gosh. I love, I love, I love um, uh, mohair, um, Hanks. But, oh my gosh, this is the first one I've gotten from her. The, the mohair Hank is something that's like, it, like you know, comparable to what the rest of it. But let's, I'm not going to dive into the yarn first. Let's dive into what is in here. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know what's, oh, maybe it's on here. Wait, what is that? Oh, it must have fallen out of the baggie. Oh my gosh, look at this loose leaf tea. Hold on, guys. I can't figure it. 
I can't figure the scent out. Catherine, you gotta tell me what flavor this is. Look it, so I got a little bag of loose leaf tea. Does she know me or does she know me? You guys know I love David's tea, that's my favorite, but I'm always open to finding new loose leaf teas. <gasps> And any ones I've gotten from Germany and or um, the UK and or where else did I get? I think I got a couple from Germany that were amazing. Like amazing. Yay! Thank you, Catherine. Look at these, mini, the mini things in life yarn club. So it's not a sock set. I'm such a dork. The mini, excuse me, the mini things in life yarn club. So it's, like I said, five 20 gram minis and a 50 gram hank of mohair. So, many things in life yarn club. Stuck in Malibu is the name of this one. And it's the sparkle. I had to get sparkle. I mean, that's an option. So, had to get it. So, 100 grams, uh, 3.5 ounces. And there's a total of 437 yards. Look at this. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, wow. I love this. Okay, let's just take these out of here. I'll put them back later. Hopefully they don't unravel. Look at that one. I love it. I love it. I love it. And you see the sparkle and you know what the sparkle is? Ha <laughs> ha It's Stellina. Is it gold Stellina? I don't think I've actually had gold Stellina. I always get silver Stellina. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I can't quite tell. They have, they have, I've showed it to you, I've shown it to you in the Mad Tosh. They have, um, um, hollow. Stellina, they've got gold, they've got silver, not Mad Tosh, just in general. They've got silver, they've got gold, they've got hollow, and they've got something else too, copper. <gasps> but anyway, okay, so that's that one. I'm wasting your time. I am so sorry. I mean, how am I wasting your time? It's yarn. But, you know, I don't want to keep you here forever. This one is beautiful. And there's got, there's like little speckles. Yay! <laughs> this has like, um, it looks like neon. Um, I was going to say lemon, really? Um, no, but it's more green and yellows, and it's got speckles. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I'm telling you, this is like so worth it. So, 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 so worth it. This is a beautiful blue with green and other speckles and the sparkles. <laughs> and the pink. And the pink. It's actually not quite that bright pink but okay here it's kind of more true to color oh wow this is i love the sparkle yeah i think it's gold stellina and then the 50 gram um mohair it's seashell sand vamp oh that's the uh, fiber base but it's mohair i'm guessing this is um mohair and um silk is what i'm thinking i don't know 50 gram, 1.7 ounces, and 420 yard, or meters. So 400, I don't know what that would be. That'd be more than 436. I know that. Um, four, about 445, maybe 450 yards. Um, it's a lace weight. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, Catherine, I love it. I love it so amazingly stunning you guys have to check out her stuff if you haven't already i'm telling you she's got great prices even with the exchange shipping is so ridiculously reasonable it's not funny um so definitely go check her out and the link is in the description box below as is the coupon code which i'll put across the screen nat n-a-t l-b-s little vicious stitches so nat lbs 77 and that's for 15 percent off anything in her shop but i'm asking you please if you wouldn't mind not using it on this set if you decide to get it i would greatly appreciate it because seriously i don't think she's making that kind of money off of this i mean six months for 100 euros with only seven um, euros for shipping to the united states craziness right um again maybe i'm missing something but that's an incredible deal if you ask me Okay guys, so at the end of the video, you'll understand why I'm inserting this right now um, because I completely forgot, I got excited about the yarn and I completely forgot to announce subscriber of the week from last week, so I apologize for that. But I figured I would go ahead and insert it here and explain later. <laughs> All right, so um, last week, subscriber of the week winner is...
Congratulations, Teresa. I am so excited for you. Thank you so much for all of your support. You have been watching all of my videos and commenting and everything. Thank you so, so much. Uh, make sure to just go ahead and email me at natalies.closet at yahoo.com. The link is also in the description box below. Uh, and send me your address and I will get you, I'll get a card and a set of stickers out to you. So again, I am so sorry. I have like just skipped over <laughs> announcing it before, but congratulations. Yay, I'm so excited. All right, so now on to the rest of the uh, video. I'll see you guys later. Oops, hold on guys. Okay, anyway, I'm so sorry. Let's get through the tick marks really quick and then I'll end it. I, I don't wanna waste, I keep saying I'm wasting your time. And you guys always tell me I'm not wasting your time. So thank you for that. Anyway, I just wanted to not have that in the shot. <laughs> All right, so from the stuff I was working on on Monday, my Monday Makes video, um, I will, I should be having one of them finished tomorrow, for tomorrow, and adding at least one new one, or not a new one, it's something I started a while ago, but I told you I'm going off of serendipity and taking projects off of it one at a time, as I finish ones I sh I'm working with, you, working on with you. Uh, so I'm hoping I'll be done with that one and can bring in another one that, oh my God, I want to work on. Anyway, okay, so from my stuff, uh, you guys saw it the week before, which is where there was a bigger reaction, you know, bigger, like, letting me know what favorites are. Yes, it is still supposed to be, but I guess repeating it each time is ridiculous. So I'm, as many times as I put the Monday makes on, if you happen to say what your favorite is, that's fine, but I'll still count the comments in it for a future surprise giveaway because it's not your fault that I don't have a local yarn shop tour to share with you. Okay, so with one tick mark, I had my Hocus Pocus shawl, which was from Leather Company that had the multicolors. It was kind of the, um, um, what is it called? Um, anyway, you'll see it tomorrow. <laughs> one tick mark um, for the stitch markers I have on the Hocus Pocus, which were the ones with the Swarovski either the Swarovski heart crystal or that ha were slightly longer with Swarovski crystals um, from Catherine with Cat's Eye Catchers. And then, okay, with one other one with one tick mark was everything. All of my projects, the project bags, just everything you, you loved. And then two were the colors. Um, I can't, that wasn't specific. I don't think that was just the colors on. Yeah, actually, I think it was. Two people said just the colors in general that I shared with you, you loved. But I swear I thought I, someone said specifically the Stingray, or was that last week? I can't remember. But anyway, this is what I got. I wrote down. Then with three tick marks was that you're seeing progress. You love seeing the progress each week. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. Then from Wednesday's video or the small business video that I um, featured Yarn Love, and, which I talked about earlier, and Vix Nets, which are the stitch markers. Several of them are right there. Um... Let's see, with one tick mark was the Yarn Love Shop, one tick mark was Vix Knits Shop, one was the Jane Austen Yarn Base, one was, was that they, someone loved all the lilacs and purples in the Yarn Love um, website. Uh, one tick mark, oh, that my fish made an appearance back here. Uh, one tick mark was for the Sharks, the Winnie the Pooh, and Beauty and the Beast set of stitch markers on Vix Knits shop. And then one was the Breakfast for Knitting um, uh, stitch marker set on Vix Knits. It has like a waffle, I think um, a fried egg, and a bacon stitch marker. Really cute. And I think there's a fourth one. I just can't remember what that was. I think, but don't quote me on that. Then with two tick marks was my stuff from Vix Knits, all the stitch markers I showed you um, from my stuff. Two, stitch, sti two tick marks for the Nightmare Before Christmas um, stitch markers on her shop site. And then two tick marks was everything. Everything I showed you and you guys loved the shops. Just You just loved it all. Then there are no three tick marks. Four tick marks was the octopus I showed you guys. Who's right there i don't know if you can i don't think you can see him right there um so that was four tick marks then with five tick marks was all my stuff everything i showed you the yarn from yarn love the unicorn poop and the stitch markers i showed you guys you guys just loved it all and then so that was five tick marks 
Then the top tick marks were seven tick marks with my um, unicorn poop yarn from Yarn Love. Seven of you just said the colorway was just absolutely awesome and you loved it. So thank you for that. Then next was from my Christmas in July fairies, uh, fairy and runners up video. I did happy mail from um, Expression Fiber Arts, Ditastic, and Macy with Mace of Skeins. Um, and if anybody knows uh, Penny, my fairy winner, if you guys could let her know she won because I haven't heard from her yet. Uh, so I would appreciate that. With the runners up and the fairies, well, okay, everybody has contacted me and I've already, you know, we've talked and stuff. Excuse me, uh, as far as my semifinalists and my two runners up, but I haven't heard from Penny yet. And I, on those guys, I'm not doing a redraw. So I'm hoping that Penny gets back to me. I mean, it's not a big deal if it takes her a little while, but I'm just hoping she knows. Um, okay, so with the happy mail, with one tick mark, um, oh, the Shark Week bag from, um, Mace of Skeins was a favorite. And then the bookmark someone loved that I got from Expression Fiber Arts. And then one tick mark for the Starfish, which I now know is actually a sea star. So one tick mark for that. And then with two tick marks, we had, um, all of Expression Fiber Arts yarns. Two people just said they absolutely love her yarns, um, just in general. And then two said my earrings. Okay, so the the, the tick mark for Mun, no. Oh, I told you guys, thank you for the compliments on my earrings. So that was from my happy mail day. And I think that those were the, I can't remember which earrings I wore. I can't remember if they were the longer ones with the um, like pewter and, and stones on it. I can't remember anyway, but thank you. But two tick marks for my earrings. Then I had they not, specifically said that was their absolute favorite i wouldn't have put it down but they did so with three tick marks we have um all of expression fiber arts patterns three people said just all of her patterns are amazing i agree same with the yarn uh four tick marks we have the yarn i showed you the yarn of the month i showed you from ditastic four tick marks for the yarn the shark of the week um uh um like sets from Mace of Skeins. Four said um, Expression Fiber Arts website. Uh, and then four said the pattern that I showed you guys that I was going to do from Expression Fiber Arts with the four hanks of yarn, which are right there um, from Expression Fiber Arts, that that pattern was your favorite. And this is all from based on what I showed you or what it is that you saw on their site. Um, and then with five tick marks, was Expression Fiber Arts, the yarn I showed you for my top from Expression Fiber Arts. And then, hands down, the top tick mark with 5, 10, 15, 18 tick marks was um, just all of my stuff. Wait a minute. Yeah, just everything I showed. I swear I thought that was for Expression Fiber Arts. Did I do that wrong? No, that was just all of my stuff. Everything that I showed you guys, there were 18 people that just said everything I showed. Just everything was your favorite. You just loved it all. You loved everything I showed. So thank you so incredibly much for that. I, I think that that was a fabulous collection of everything. I mean, the four from Expression Fiber Arts are right there. My unicorn poop. Where is my unicorn poop? There's um, the Shark Week uh, yarn and my unicorn poop. Oh, right here. That's my unicorn poop right there. So, um, yes, I happen to agree. That video had amazing, 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 amazing yarns. Totally, 100%. So, that is it. I was hoping to make this a little bit shorter, but um, I knew that it was, uh, my Getting to Know You episodes happen to be, I mean, tend to be a little bit longer because they are where I kind of talk about everything. So I think I covered everything. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And that's in general. If you want to know anything about me or Miley or my crochet journey or my yarn journey or anything like that, my, um, if you have any kind of questions, feel free to, and if we do end up, um, I'm trying to think,
because if I get enough questions, depending on, I could always do a, like a question and answer type of an episode uh, where I just answer everybody's questions. But typically it's just a couple here or there. So that's why I just do them and getting to know you. But if you have any questions, if you have any tips, tricks, um, you know, ideas or anything that you want to share, feel free. And that'll be something I'll share with everybody next week. Um, just anything, whatever. And of course, Remember, this is the video that you're going to let me know what your uh, what day, what changed. I already told you Wednesday is what changed. Now you just need to let me know what it is that changed. In this video, I'm getting to know you. And then this is the video I'll do. The, oh my gosh, I forgot to do oh, subscriber of the week. I forgot to announce subscriber of the week. Okay, I don't want to wait until the very end to share it. So when you get here, you will have heard it after I opened Little Bisha Stitches. Um, uh, mini skein set okay so sorry about that um and i'll probably like enter it as like future me or yeah my future whatever i'll figure it out but i will announce it then uh, i'll insert a little clip there okay after the little bit of stitches that i share with you all right so i hope you guys have a great day i'm sorry this got a little bit long but have a wonderful i hope you had a wonderful weekend and that you have a great rest of your Sunday. This probably isn't going to go up until Sunday evening, so I apologize for that. But I hope you have a great day. Uh, Miley says, hi, invite her peeps. She was a very good girl today. No barking, thankfully. Um, my mom did say to make sure to let you know she said to say hello. Uh, so hello from mom. Um, and yeah, remember, for every season, there's a reason to crochet. Love, hugs, and prayers to everybody. Extra prayers for those who need it. Remember, if you need extra prayers, but don't want to share publicly, feel free to email me at natalies.claws at yahoo.com and I will go ahead and um, we will add you to our prayer list. And I think that's it. Oh, I was going to, I forgot, I was going to include another video in the cards um, above. Um, oh yeah, where I featured um, Lil Bisha Stitches as far as her shop and information about her. Uh, back when I showed you the Lil Bish Stitches, there will have been a card that came up, but I also have the link in the description box and the top pinned comment. So have a great day. I will talk, you guys will see me, oops, a sticky note just fell. Um, you will see me on my Monday Mix video, and then hopefully I'll see you guys on Tuesday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern on my live. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye.